Hey guys. Hello. Welcome back and we have a bit of a different video today. Yeah. Um, as you can see we have very little money to budget with. <laughs> um, this uh, little project I've been doing hasn't been going so well in terms of hours and stuff and now some other stuff has come up. Um, so things are going to start getting interesting right away. But <laughs> today we thought after we do this small little bit of budgeting that we will uh, take you for a day in the life kind of wine app tour. Um, we got some comments on one of our videos about our uh, shopping at Save On versus places like No Frills. So um, we're going to go there, do a little bit of shopping, price compare, um, bring you guys along to uh, see what a day in the life of a wine app couple looks like. So, you know, stay tuned. So we're going to start off here. Um, I have our Christmas thing up at the top here. If it's okay with you, I'm thinking I'll just pull up this $6 for the Christmas Eve box. Yeah. We don't need that right now. Um, do you want to leave all of these the way they are, or do you want me to take these two down to $50 each? Yeah, I guess we can do that. I don't like doing this, but um, I mean, if we have money left over afterwards, oops, then we can always add back in, but I just... And then I'm going to take this odd amount here and move that up as well. Um, and I'm thinking, so we're going to do like a decorate the Christmas tree and bake stuff. So I'm thinking we might, when we do our grocery shopping, pull some of that stuff out of here because mm -hmm. it's for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Again, normally we wouldn't do that, but we're running a really tight budget. Very tight ship. <laughs> um, okay, so first things first, we have overspending. We spent. We actually spent more than this dining out. I just don't think it's pulled in the transactions yet. I know, shame on us. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add that transaction now. Yeah, it feels kind of a bit hypocritical talking about how uh, we're running such a tight ship and then like we dined out just this morning and Val's still working on her McDonald's coffee. Yeah. I mean, just keeping it real with you guys. We're not perfect. We know when we're making bad choices. Mm -hmm. um, we, we've, we've advanced to the point that we recognize bad choices and we're just like, yep, going to keep making them. We also had to pick something up for my dad, mm -hmm. but this is, we have the cash for it. We just have to go to the bank. So that's, I mean, I'm still going to put it in there, but, oh yeah. And then I paid some bank fees. So CIBC, $5. We still have banks, bank accounts open with other banks. We should probably start closing those. Yeah. The CIBC one, we could. TD, we need to leave open still. But it's only five dollars a month so like it's not the end of the world mm -hmm. all right so cover our dining out we had a software thing come out and dad i'm not going to bother to cover because we have the cash for that <laughs> next up we need food and gas mm -hmm. and freya needs clothes mm -hmm. okay so we'll prioritize food first how much do you think we're going to spend for food Keeping in mind that the baking stuff will probably take out of the Christmas food budget, yeah. but like if we need bacon, sauerkraut, eggs, anything like that. Uh, I put like 80 bucks, I think. 80. Why, what were you thinking? Like 40. <laughs> um, gas, how much do we need for gas? 30. Okay, and then clothing. Mm. Uh, um, do we want to put it under clothing or under Freya? Uh, put it under clothing. Okay, how much do you think we need? 20 bucks? Yeah. We're going to Goodwill, so. Yeah, we're, we're going to Goodwill to buy baby stuff because she needs some t-shirts because she's trimmed down a little bit, which means she's back in cloth diapers, which means none of her onesies fit around her giant cloth diapers yeah. very well. So we've just been leaving them open, so we may as well just let her wear t-shirts. Shirts and pants. Mm-hmm. All right, so we have $14 left. What is that $14 going to go to? Honestly, she's probably going to dining out because it's not like we're not going to dine out, but realistically we shouldn't be dining out. We shouldn't be, but you are right. And we always say we're not going to put money in there and then we eat out anyways. Mm -hmm. And then pay for it later. Now, do we want to try and move any other money around to cover upcoming bills or do you just want to wait until mm -hmm. next week? Let's wait until next week when we got a little more to work with. Okay. Yeah, yeah so... Because I get, I get EI next week. This, yeah. this little bit was just my paycheck from last week at this job. For like the one day he worked. Yeah, which one is one day. It, it's low. One they're they're not. They're, they're paying me to be a laborer, basically, just an extra set of hands, is uh, what they had room in the budget for, and we needed the money. So hey. Yep. 
Okay, so that is it for the budgeting portion. So now we get to take you guys with us while we run our errands mm -hmm. and show how we enter our transactions into YNAB and kind of um, refer to YNAB to help us stay on budget where we can. So stay tuned for that. Alrighty, Freya is up from her nap and me, Valerie, and my double chin are ready to go start doing stuff. So what are we doing, babe? We have to go to the bank to deposit some cash and then groceries will probably do last. Well, it's cold enough out, we could do it yeah. first. We'll do groceries first, maybe. Okay. Because if we have extra money left over from groceries, we can use that to buy a few more Christmas decorations. Yes. And then we're gonna go get Freya clothes at Goodwill. Because we're trying to stock up on Christmas decorations. I actually have a Christmas this year, because we got a kid. Mm -hmm. So we wanna, you know, do it up a little bit. We haven't really done much for Christmas in the last like four yeah, years. Yeah, we, we haven't really prioritized it financially, haven't had money for gifts or anything like that, haven't really done decorations. And not that this year's looking any different. Yeah, this, this year's not looking <laughs> much better if we're being totally honest, but there you go. Boy, talk about a steady cam, hey? Yeah. Anyways, we'll, uh, we'll see you in the montage. Yeah. All right, so normally Cody's at work with the vehicle, um, or sometimes he's working out of town and I have the vehicle, but it's a bit of a pain in the butt. Sorry for the very shaky camera. It's a bit of a pain in the butt for me to get to the grocery store because it means that I have to bring Freya along because I don't have anybody who can watch her while I go run errands. So typically we just, I order online and get our groceries delivered, um, but the only place that'll deliver to our address is Save On Foods. Instacart will deliver to so many places in our city, but will not, for whatever stupid reason, deliver to our address. So we are stuck with Save On Foods, even though they are a little more expensive. But a lot of you all told us how stupid we were, <laughs> in much kinder words, for shopping there. So we're going to go to No Frills today and show you what shopping there is like. Mistake number one is we didn't make grocery lists. <laughs> Cody knows he wants sauerkraut to make lazy cabbage rolls and I know I want stuff to bake so that we can have sweet treats while we decorate the Christmas tree. No luck in the meat department. So far the meat we get at Save On Foods, believe it or not, is quite a bit cheaper than the food here at Oak Hills. He's tempted to get the two kilo chicken legs for ten dollars, but you can get ten ninety seven. Oh. Um, but he can get four kilos for twelve dollars at Sobeys, so it's a way better deal over there. These are on sale for two dollars each, dollar off. So why not?
I'll be honest. I feel like $47 for all that doesn't feel like a very good deal. Okay, so we're back. And now I have to figure out how much of this is going to groceries and how much is going to Christmas food. So we bought cookies for $2.97. We bought hot chocolate for, no hot chocolate probably doesn't count, hey? That can go into regular, same with marshmallows. Brown sugar we bought for baking for $1.97. Margarine, do you want to put that under groceries? Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll put it under, under groceries. groceries. Okay, uh, eggs go under that, and then the cinnamon rolls, so that'll get put into there. So $8.94 went to, um, what am I trying to say here? Christmas eating. <laughs> oh my goodness I'm having I'm having struggles trying to do this okay so we're gonna split it between groceries and then food under Christmas and we said it was 894 so we're gonna put an 894 and then the rest of this went to groceries so that was 3808 clear save transaction so we've got $41 left for Christmas food 4106 and then we have 4192 left for groceries which we might take some of that out for Christmas decor but we're gonna go do our other running around first and see We are back. Yes, we are back. We have managed to get Freya some clothes. We got some Christmas stuff, some decorations, some food, which you guys kind of saw already by now, I would think at this point in the video. And uh, now we got Freya's clothes and some Christmas stuff. So first things first, I'm going to categorize this transaction and then we're gonna show you guys what we got. So it was $43 at Goodwill. I'm going to split that between decorations, oops, decorations and clothing. There we go. So clothing was $18 and decorations was $25, which I feel like we did pretty okay with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the amount we got, we did good. And then decorations were over budget. Mm -hmm. So we'll cover that. We had $2 left out of clothing, so we're gonna cover it with that. Which in hindsight, we should have maybe taken advantage of the $12, 10 items for 12, because we could I couldn't find anything else that was worth buying her. Okay. Um, and then the rest of this can come out of the Christmas food budget for now, because it was all part of Christmas. Okay, so that's taken care of. Now we can show you what we got. <laughs> so, starting with Freya's clothes, we got a winter jacket. An adorable little winter jacket for her. With, with the hood. We'd like to be able to take her for walks or stuff like that, but she doesn't really have anything super warm to wear yet. So now between this and like a blanket and stuff, we can go for a little walkie walk. And we've been holding off because every winter jacket we have found for a baby is like 60 to 80 dollars yeah i can buy me a jacket for that price yeah so this was eight dollars mm -hmm. and look how cute it is it was great um currently covered a little bit in sparkles but that's okay this is yeah. all gonna get washed so that's good and then we just got her some shirts so we have the <laughs> the ugly christmas sweater because obviously i'm on the naughty list and these were all two dollars mm -hmm. piece. because i'll be honest with you guys she's a little heck butt sometimes and a little shirt. And some of these are quite big as well. Like I think mm -hmm. this one's, yeah, this one's a 4T. She currently fits uh, 24 months or 2T. Um, but again, I'd rather, she grows so fast, I feel like, yeah. that we just, bigger is fine. I don't know, it's weird. I feel like she does, like just day to day, I feel like she doesn't grow at all. I feel like she isn't growing, 
but her, her clothes just keep shrinking on her. <laughs> and Cody grabbed this one for her, the Moana one. Yeah, she seems to like Moana, so why not? And this one. So they're all slightly warmer tops. They're all long sleeve. Mm -hmm. um, but again, it's cold here right now. Yeah. And this gives us the option to, well, she can stay a little warmer when she's on the floor, and now it's real easy to throw her in, like, shirt and pants and stuff like that without having to worry about the stupid snaps. Yeah, and then this one's, like, just a nice, soft, plain black one. Mm -hmm. All right, Christmas stuff. So we still needed stockings, wrapping paper, a Christmas tree skirt, and some more ribbon. Yeah, because, fun story, our old Christmas tree skirt, while it wasn't in great shape and it wasn't very nice, was somehow ripped in half. Yeah. Like, we, we pulled it out of the box in two pieces, and it was only supposed to be one piece. I don't understand how this happened. So when we were at Canadian Tire the other day, one Christmas stocking was like 20 to $40. Mm -hmm. One tree skirt, like the one I liked, was 60 bucks mm -hmm. for a tree skirt. Yeah. Um, a few of tastes over here. A few rolls of wrapping paper were anywhere between about eight to twenty dollars, depending mm -hmm. on how fancy you wanted to get. And the garland that we liked, which is actually pretty similar to this, was twenty dollars for a box of six feet. Now I have no idea how long this is. Mm -hmm. um, More than six feet, I would say. I'm hoping, but it mm -hmm. was four dollars. So we got all of this for. Yeah, at, at Canadian Tire, this would have been like what, 120 bucks or 150 easily. or something. Easily, and we mm -hmm. spent how much did we spend? Um, 25. Goodwill split, yeah, 25 dollars on all mm -hmm. of it. So I feel like that's pretty good. So this, this was the garland that we got. She found some fancy Pinterest type things. She's gonna try to make her feel look all snazzy. Yeah, we got. We're doing like the traditional red and green this year. I was gonna do just like fancy gold and beige mm -hmm. and stuff, but we decided we it would have been too retarded expensive. Yeah. Well, and I just I wanted the mm -hmm. traditional. Yeah. We do like the more traditional kind of mellow look anyway. So this was like a. Yeah, like your grandmother's tree look, skirt. Look how nice that is. It's so Like, cute. I'm sure my baba had the exact same one. That says Christmas to me. Not yeah. this side, but the other side. It's cool. Well, I mean, it's kind of reversible. You could use mm -hmm. that side if you want, if you really well, want Well, you could. It's just the other one says more Christmas to me. I'm very excited about this. Yeah. I, I should not be this excited about a reversible tree skirt. We tried to find a stocking for Freya, but these were like the smallest ones they had. Mm -hmm. And she's already getting quite a few gifts. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe I'll get one off Amazon or Etsy yeah. or something. I don't, I don't know. know. We'll see. But these were four fifty each, so Cody and I have matching stockings. Mm -hmm. Oh, we should have looked for stocking, like uh, hanger upper things. Yeah. No, we just use sticky hooks this year. Yeah, or that. I'm just noticing this one has like a proper hook to it, and this one does not. Mm -hmm. But whatever, I'm not gonna complain. Yeah. And then we got look at all the wrapping paper we got. These were two fifty each. Like sparkles everywhere. Five. Guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I over remember. hands, all over carpet. Only one of them has sparkles on it. Thank goodness we built like a little ugly tree corral here to keep Freya away from it because there's some sparkles all over the place. I'm so so <clears> excited. <throat> we have so many empty boxes for me to wrap. Yeah, we've been <laughs> saving empty boxes for like well over a month now. Yeah. Maybe two months now so that we can wrap stuff up and just leave it under the tree so it looks really festive and also like Freya doesn't care about toys she has like a million toys and she likes three of them that she plays with all the time no matter what she's going to be stoked about ripping open boxes though and we will have boxes galore yes um so i feel pretty good about everything that we got again 43 dollars and we got her like i don't know how many shirts five shirts yeah, and five a shirts jacket. a new jacket it was and, a pretty good haul and all the christmas stuff yeah so high five go team I think that was about it. That was yeah. that was a day in Winehab. Anyways, that's it for today's yeah. video. I know it's a little different, but that's it. That's all. We didn't have a lot of money to budget with, so mm -hmm. you know. We want to try to make it entertaining for you guys. So if you like it, like it. If you don't like it, just like it twice. Uh, if you haven't already, ring that bell to subscribe. Ding, 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 ding. If you have an actual bell, ring that because everyone likes to ring bells, and tis the season almost. Yeah. Hope you're doing well, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.